Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm showcasing products from the latest release by my favorite things and I will also use my triblend alcohol markers to do all the coloring so you can see how they work. Now the moment you see a new release you always pick up a favorite and in this release the stamp set which is called Happy Hummingbirds is my absolute favorite. I find those birds really adorable and you can create loads of lovely scene cards with them plus they give you many uh, sentiments that you can use on your cards. Now there are also matching dyes and I will combine that with the ground greenery. I love this dye because you can use it again and again, just pop on top any flowers that you have and uh, stamp a sentiment and you have an instant card. So I'm going to start by doing my stamping and I'm using extreme black ink by my favorite things. This is permanent, it's not going to smudge or smear or with alcohol markers. I'm going to stamp that a couple of times with my misty to get a good impression. And for coloring I'm going to bring out my triplet markers. These are alcohol markers by Crafters Companion. These are the exact same colors as the Spectrum Noir line, but they come in a barrel with three colors in a row. So I thought it would be fun to play along with them and see how handy they are. They give you three colors all the way from light, medium to dark. They have a hexagon barrel so they don't roll around on your desk and they also come with a fine tip nib. I find that the cups are really easy to open and close. Just make sure when you close them that you hear that click sound so your markers are not going to dry on you. Now the fun part about these barrels is that you have all the three colors that blend together in one. On the outside you can see that marked with light, medium and dark. If you roll around the barrel you will also find the name of the colors along with the color number. There is also a colored ring so you can tell easily which one is which and on the cups you will also find the color names. It really is a foolproof system for blending colors. You don't have to think on how to organize the colors together. And remember these are Spectrum Noir markers which means that they are refillable. You can get new nibs if you like. Now I got two sets to try them out. Every set comes with six markers inside but you can get them individually. The set is $30 for six markers but that's 18 colors actually. And uh, if you get them individually, you will find that each one of those big markers is uh, $5. Now I'm going to speed up the video and do some coloring. I'm using markers from the Exotic Blends uh, set and I'm going for a very colorful hummingbird. I like to work from medium, light to dark in this case. And you can see how nicely they blend and how easy they are to work with. Now I do have the whole Spectrum Noir collection in my stash but I just had to work with them and see how handy they are. The barrel is quite big if you use it like I do where I keep everything together but that's the way I like it. However, you do have the option of disassembling the marker completely, use the different parts individually like so and then put it all together again. The marker I'm using for the wings is the Pink Violet Blend. Then uh, for his main body I went with two markers, the Alpine Green Blend and the Aqua Blue Blend. And then for his tummy and his tail I combined two markers, which are the Gold Yellow Blend and the Coral Sage. Now in the beginning I was really doubtful of working with uh, such a big marker but after all I find it really handy. I love the fact that you get all the three shades in one marker so you don't have to mess around and try and find what blends with what. When you compare the three blends with the separate colors just remember that uh, here you have three colors in a marker which means that the barrels are smaller and here is a photo where you can see the difference. So now that my bird is ready, I'm going to put together a card. I will use the matching dye to cut out the hummingbird and I will also use the greenery dyes. I'm using just some cardstock here. I will use the dyes a couple of times so I have a bunch of greenery for my final card. And I also used flower dyes that I had in my stash to cut out a few white ones. 
Now I have a white panel here and I'm going to create a window. I'm using a die from the Stitch Dome stacks. This is a set of many and I'm using the third larger one. It gives a lovely window and a great uh, area where you can tuck inside your focal points. Now I'm using my blending brush on a scrap piece of white cardstock and I'm using my go-to color combo when it comes to sky backgrounds and that's tumbled glass and peacock feathers distress oxide inks. Now before I put my card together, because it's going to end up quite dimensional, I need to do the stamping now. For that I'm going with one of the sentiments from the stamp set with the hummingbirds that says may your day be filled with love and joy. I always like to stamp my sentiments a couple of times to get a good impression and then I'm going to bring in my big uh, foam tape roll and I'm going to add some foam tape at the back and then I'm going to stick that directly on top of that uh, panel that I did the blending. This is the lazy way of doing that. I didn't have to measure anything. I'm just sticking it down and cutting out with my big scissors all the excess paper. By the way, I do get a lot of questions about my foam roll. This is by Arteza and I do have a coupon code down below. And now it's time to put my card together. For that I'm using my Novo Deluxe glue and I'm going to stick down the greenery, creating a cluster of the leaves and the white flowers. You can add leaves one on top of the other and overlay them if you want to make your cluster look fuller. And since I cut out a bunch of those leaves in the beginning, I do have enough now to play. So I'm just sticking things here and there. And then finally I'm going to place down the flowers. I have a bigger and two smaller ones. And for the bigger flower I went with a tiny foam square at the back to add some dimension. And I'm going to tuck underneath the two smaller flowers with my Nouveau Deluxe glue. Now I love little details on my cards, so I'm going to add some more embellishments on top. I have already cut out a tiny little red heart, which I'm going to stick directly on top of the word love. And I'm also going to add some bling at the center of the flowers. I'm using these gems in a pale orange color that matches nicely with the belly of my bird. I'm adding some glue at the back and I'm also going to peel off the backing of my foam tape and I'm going to stick that on a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. My panel, by the way, is slightly smaller than the standard card, so I end up having a little border. Here are some close-up photos on the card that I made for today. Don't forget, just like always, you will find the links down below to everything I used. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.